What's up, HBS TV 2? It's your boy Slim Merc. And we're going to be talking about some Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. Now, this game has been out for a week as of today. And um, it's already seen a few setbacks. Uh, for one, Metal Gear Online 3 is not available. I mean, I guess it goes to show why they had a very well scripted trailer, uh, one trailer at that. And uh, why didn't it show more? So, I mean, I'm happy that they didn't OD advertise the fact that this uh, multiplayer was going to be available. But, I mean, if you're going to slap a day one edition, you know, for everybody that pre ordered it. Uh, I don't just take day ones as a special thanks or looking for that cool little cover art or something. I mean, uh, I want a day one full game. So, a uh, little disappointment there that uh, Metal Gear Online 3 is not available. Um, there has been uh, plenty of server issues thus far, though, since the game's launch. Um, uh, between that and the scheduled maintenance, you find yourself more offline than you do online and uh yeah I, I mean i don't know who's actually been enjoying fob i haven't <laughs> uh, the frontal or the front operational base multiplayer aspect of the game which is basically like a uh you know demon souls somebody drops in and tries to just screw over your life even though you're you're trying to do other things so uh i personally have had no encounters yet um uh, but then again i only have about seven percent of the game then. i don't know if that matters or not but it just goes to show how much content this game has point period i mean there's been a lot of people that said they put a good amount of hours into this game and still have a low completion percentage so there's definitely uh, stuff to be done in this game um, I do like the fact that there's a lot of customization in the game um, I'm a very big fan of customization so uh, that's a win for me uh, being able to uh, choose your buddy choose how they look uh, choose your avatar um, how they look uh, what stuff are you going to buy? Um, how how you want to complete your missions or your side, you know, missions there or side ops? I mean, they're just all completely up to you, and uh, I think that's that's a very big portion of the game. I mean. Side Ops is 157 missions, I believe. And um, again, I've passed a good amount of them. And uh, I've only did a little bit of the story because I found myself really wanting to play more of the Side Ops missions. Um, but uh, I just love how side, the side missions are, are actually worthy of play, so to speak. Uh, when you're doing them, you happen to, you know, just keep continuously unlocking more stuff. You know, it's not like, you know, it's just for money or just to brag like, hey, I, I passed that side quest. Uh, no, it actually benefits you in every way. So it's, it's actually a good thing to do it. Um, now, I see with a lot of Metal Gear, like, diehard fans, I understand you guys that uh, this game is no longer linear, like a lot of the other Metal Gear Solids are, um, that uh, it is missing the whole movie scenes and all the extra dialogue, you, you know, you would normally see in a Metal Gear Solid game. So um, I know that there's a lot of disappointment in, in that area for diehard Metal Gear Solid fans. Um, I understand. Uh, but to say that this is a bad game would be a lie. I mean, this might not be the greatest Metal Gear Solid alive due to the fact that it is missing its its uh, DNA, so to speak. 
with, uh, you know, cutscenes not being as lengthy and, and not as much dialogue. I mean, Snake doesn't talk too much. Um, but that could be because it's Keith Southern. Um, not knocking him for anything. I think he's a great actor. I love 24 and Touch. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it might be just because it's him. I mean, I've heard rumor that he kind of costs a lot to talk, so to speak. So um, maybe that's why the dialogue is kind of cut, dumbed down a little bit also. Uh, maybe that's why more of the... Uh, Information is put on cassette tapes rather than cut than in cutscenes. Um, but it's just, just even though we're, let me get to the part that, let me just get to the part that, what people don't like and why I disagree with some of them. Um, I know people don't like this game because it's open world. Um, that's actually pretty good. That is open world, you know, and I I. I like that it is an open world. Uh, um, yeah, you may be technically in the same map, you know, over and over again. Um, but I think Kojima understood this, and that's why they emphasize on the fact that your enemies can kind of, you know, learn you. You know, if you're doing too many headshots, they're going to start wearing helmets. You know, if you're going in full force, they're going to have more people on guard, maybe better body armor. So, uh, you kind of makes up for it at the same time. Um, there's plenty to be discovered though, uh, between minerals and resources, uh, you know, secret little passageways or whatever. Um, being able to find, you know, better enemy soldiers so they can basically become your slaves and work for mother base because <laughs> that's really what that goes down to um the fact that you're gonna unlock kojima uh to be one of those workers is pretty awesome also um being able to not just have to play a snake all the time is all is pretty cool too especially if um the person or the characters you decide to pick have you know cool abilities that would help you on the field um I think the whole mother base thing is really awesome. Being able to build nothing into something is cool. Being able to have to, you know, make it worth value by, you know, going out there and getting more soldiers, getting more resources, you know, so you can run operations, you know, continue to build and, and grow as a force, as well as defend what you've put so much time into growing, you know, with the whole FOB system. Um, the fact that people are mad that uh, this is only, like, in Afghanistan, I mean, shoot, how long has America been in Afghanistan, for that matter? I mean, seems not to be too much of a problem then, um, but then when you're stuck in Afghanistan in a video game, all of a sudden it's a problem. So, uh, just get over it <laughs> really i mean it's a nice little playground to play in um uh it's, it's cool that the weather's dynamic uh that it affects what you're able to be i mean or be able to do uh, especially with the fault in the vice you know during a sandstorm you can't send nobody out from that um i think the fault in the vice is pretty dope too just the simple fact that it just it dumbs down certain things that you need to that you probably could be doing or whatever you know if you have enough of them as well um i think taking over uh camps and and infiltrating and all that stuff is is just great in any game but really cool in this one as well i mean i've set up me personally i've set up you know bombs to throw up, you know blow up uh communication devices or whatever but as well as use them as decoys so I can go ahead and, you know, traverse through the map or the, the mission, so to speak, and uh, make my way on, onto completing it however I like. And uh, it's really worked out for me. Um, 
I'm definitely going to get back to you guys though with another video because Metal Gear Online 3 is not ready and is not running. Um, but all in all, I feel that the, uh, the game experience itself, yes, you know, the, the massive amount of dialogue and cutscenes are not there. Um, yes, we're in Afghanistan. Um, what else? Yes, Snake doesn't talk too much. Um, I don't know. Oh, uh, it's, it's just, even with all that in there, it's still a, a good game. Um, the fact that, you know, there's more freedom to it, you know, you can kind of now play Metal Gear Solid how you want to play. Um, and I like that due to the fact that, you know, they have that whole enemy adapts aspect to the game. You know, because if you want to screw around and just be completely out of stuff all the time, you know, they're, they're going to get ready for you. And if you want to be in stuff, they're going to get ready for you. And even though the stuff is more rewarding, I'm pretty sure having those moments of just completely going crazy and shooting other places is just as amazing as well. I mean, I know I have fun with it. Even, you know, after getting caught, I, I try to get back into the, the whole stealth aspect of, of the mission. So this way, you know enemies are not bugging me as much you know and i just i just enjoy it i think it's more challenging to do it in stealth anyways um i think people often try to dodge that because they're not ready to accept the challenge so um well yeah i'm i'm definitely streaming this game you know all the time now so uh if you ever want go ahead and check me out on twitch at twitch.tv slash thumbmerk uh, HBS TV 2 is always live on there Thursday through Sunday uh, Eastern times times may vary um, and yeah uh, if you haven't gotten the Phantom Pain yet uh, I I would suggest this game uh, it is a good game go ahead and, and get it if you don't if you're not too sure uh, I guess figure out how you're gonna just try it out or you can watch my stream and let me know how you think about it but uh other than that, once uh, MGO3 uh, gets put into rotation and, and and is running smooth, I'll give it probably about another a week after its release and go ahead and throw up another Metal Gear Solid 5 um, review video. And uh, if you guys got any questions or, or you know, anything at all, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Again, this is your boy Slim Merck. This is HBS TV2, and uh, we out.